welcome, welcome, welcome. Blessed Holy Ghost, we welcome you. We welcome you into our hearts. Welcome you into our thoughts. Welcome into our minds. We welcome you into this temple. We welcome you to come and fill our hearts. We welcome you to heal. Welcome you to deliver. Welcome you to set free. Blessed Holy Ghost. Blessed Holy Ghost. We welcome you. We welcome you to have your free reign. We welcome you in, in all of our activities. We welcome the presence of God the Father, God the Son, and the blessed Holy Ghost. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Praise his name. Welcome, welcome, as we usher in his presence into the sanctuary tonight. With hands lifted, let's lift our voices together. Welcome, 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 blessed Holy Ghost, we welcome. Is 
such a special way. That's why I praise you. I lift you up and I magnify your name. That's why my heart is filled with praise. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you, Lord, today. Because you care for me in such a special way. That's why I praise you, I lift you up, and I magnify your name. That's why my heart is filled with praise. My heart, my mind, my soul. My heart, my mind, my soul belongs to you. You pay the price for me. Back on Calvary, that's why I praise you. I lift you up and I magnify your name. That's why my heart is filled with praise. My heart, my mind, my soul. My heart, my mind, my soul belongs to you. You pay the price. together y'all come on put those hands together repeat after me we have come we have to come give you praise to give you praise holy one holy one of ancient of days we have come we have come victory in victory you will Hallelujah, 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 hallel
Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah to the King. We have come, we have to come give you praise, to give you praise. Holy One, Holy One, Ancient of Days. We have come, we have come in victory, in victory. Still with love, Still with love. And liberty. And liberty. Hallelujah, 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 Hallelujah to the King. You say, Hallelujah, 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah to the King. Hallelujah, 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 You say Hallelujah, 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 oh, Hallelujah, 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 oh, Hallelujah, 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 oh, Hallelujah, 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 oh, Hallelujah, 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 Hallelujah,
And the Lord of Lords. Somebody give him a high praise tonight. There's victory in the room tonight. Salvation in the room tonight. There's glory in the room tonight. Yeah. Oh. oh, oh. wonderful Hallelujah. I would like to just set so we want to come to an agreement tonight that there's no dead spots there's no there's no lull there's no pauses spontaneous praises Amen. we are on the last session and it's hallelujah salvation and glory honor and power unto the Lord our God yeah, he is wonderful. Yes. And you can interrupt me with your praises and your shouts hallelujah. and your hallelujah, hallelujah and your glory. Glory, yes. glory, glory. You can glory. say hallelujah. And talk to your God all night long. Hallelujah. He is wonderful. He's wonderful. Good evening, saints. Again, we have come up to Mount Zion, to that holy hill. We are among an innumerable company of angels. Amen. Amen. The Lord God of heaven is with us. And I dare say that this train is pulling out of the station. Get on board. Amen. Amen. This train is bound for glory. Amen. Amen. Get on board. I want to use my time wisely in praising God. Because I realize that the moments flee and they go away. Yeah, and I will say that I've gone to worship, but maybe out of the 100% of time, I worship maybe 30% because my mind is somewhere else. I'm distracted. I'm disturbed. Yeah, but I encourage you, again, interrupt me with your praises and your hallelujah. And your hallelujah. Praise God. Praise his name. Prayer time over this service. Reverend Peart, will you come? And pray over this service, please. Hello, Father. Hallelujah. Oh, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your great name. Father God, here we are again, the second session of this hallowed day. We come into your presence this evening, God. We ask that you may be with us in everything that shall be said and done. Lord, you have been visiting with us today. You have blessed us in a mighty way. You have spoken to our hearts through your manservant who have ministered your word as you have bid him to do. God, here we are again in this session we ask that you may be with us in everything that shall be said and done. Yeah. I ask, God, that you may stand beside us as we attempt to worship you. Lord, we have no strength of our own, but we pray, God, that you may provide the strength, send the ministering spirit to help us to worship you tonight as we attempt to worship you. God, you said we should worship you in the beauty of holiness. Lord, you ask us to come boldly to the throne of grace where we can find refuge, we can find strength, we can find whatever we need. So we pray, God, that your blessings may be on this house tonight. We pray you may touch your people as we worship you. Lord, pray, God, that remove every distraction, rebuke every power of darkness, everything that the enemy would try to put in beside us or to whisper into our minds or to prevent us from worshiping you tonight. We ask, God, and we rebuke them. Send them back to hell from whence they have come and give us the victory. God, we pray tonight for the one who's standing to moderate this service. Stand beside her. Cover her from the crown of the head unto the very sole of the feet. Lord God, we set ourselves tonight to receive the word that you have prepared for us. That vessel which you have prepared, God, I do pray that he may deliver your word and that may accomplish that which they were sent to do. Lord, when we have come to the end of tonight's service, may we say within our hearts and among ourselves, did our hearts burn within us? God, we look to you tonight. We ask for your strength. We ask for your guidance. 
We ask, God, that you may lead us in the path where we should go. I pray, oh God, and remove self. Remove self. Remove self. Help us to see no one but you tonight. Help us to look to the hills from whence cometh our help, knowing that our help come from thee, the maker in heaven and earth. Bless us tonight abundantly. This we ask in the name of Jesus, who has taught us to pray and to say, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thou will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. And the people of God say amen. amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Praise God. Praise his name. Instructions again. Praise his name. Praise God. Let us hallow his name. Let us extol his name. God, we love you. We tell you thanks. We praise you. We exalt your holy name. You are mighty. We magnify you. We bless you out of Zion tonight. You're powerful. You're strong. You're excellent in all your ways. Lord God, we thank you for what you're doing for us. Thank you for the blessings. Thank you for your keeping care and your mercies. God, we lift you up this evening. We praise your holy name. We praise your holy name. We magnify you, Lord. We glorify you. We honor and bless your dear name. We honor and bless your dear name. Praise God. Praise his name. Praise his name. We will read alternate verses of Psalm 47. Psalm 47. Psalm 47, let us stand to the reading of God's holy word. Psalm 47 begins with, Oh, clap your hands, all ye people. Shout unto God with the voice of triumph. He shall subdue the people under us and the nations under our feet. God is gone up with a shout, the Lord with the sound of a trumpet. For God is the king of all the earth, singing praises with understanding. Nine together, the princes of the people are gathered together, even the people of the God of Abraham. For the shields of the earth belong it unto God. He is greatly exalted. Here ended a portion of the reading of God's holy word. We honor God by saying glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, it's now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Amen. We're going to do exactly what we just read. Amen. Amen. Oh, clap your hands. All you people. Oh, clap your hands, all you people. Oh, clap your hands, all you people. And it's a shout unto God. With a voice of triumph, oh glory, we praise your holy name, glory, God is gone up with a shout, yes, oh glory to God, hallelujah, hallelujah.
for the Lord Most High is terrible. He's king over all the earth. Shout unto God. Shout unto God. Shout unto God. Shout unto God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I dare say that while we are here shouting, God is subduing some things under our feet. He shall subdue. Yes, the people under us and the nations under our feet. God is gone up with a shout. The Lord with the sound of the trumpet. The Lord with the sound of the instruments. The Lord with the sound of the timbrel. The Lord with the sound of our voices. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. As I said, the train is pulling out of the station. This is the last ride. Yes, amen, and we're bound for glory. Praise God, praise his name, praise the Lord. I want to, you may be seated, I just want to say welcome. Welcome this evening, everyone here in your places, those who are watching and participating on the different platforms, want to say welcome to you likewise. Amen, amen, amen. The presence of the Lord is in this place. Amen. God has chosen our inheritance for us, the excellency of Jacob, whom he loved. The ground here, the spot of ground has been sanctified and consecrated to God. The convention was open for healing, for deliverance, for salvation, for restoration, for redemption. Yes, and we have evidences of that everywhere around us. Amen. Praise God. Praise his name. Praise God. I want to bring greetings to you from the church in Colton, in particular, especially from the Spanish ministry. Pastor Alejandro Ruz and his congregation sends their best <laughs> greetings to this congregation in our 48th annual Holy Convocation. Praise God. Praise his name. Again, interrupt me with your praises and your thanksgiving and your shouts. Amen. Amen. We're in for a wonderful time with the Lord. Once we sing this chorus, Reverend Clifford Douglas is going to come to us with a brief exhortation. And after that, Reverend Morgan, Reverend Judith Morgan will follow uh, after this chorus, sweet Jesus, sweet Jesus, what a wonder you are. You are brighter than the morning star. You are fairer, much fairer than the lily that grows by the way. You are precious, more precious than gold. If this is your testimony, let's do it together. Sweet Jesus, sweet Jesus, what a wonder. You are brighter than the morning star. Oh, you are fairer, much fairer than the lily that grows by the way. You are precious, more precious than gold. Sweet Jesus, sweet Jesus, what a wonder. Oh 
did give one set of instructions. We're going to agree. When we're singing tonight, we're going to stand, except for those who can. And it's just a few. We're going to sing. We're going to be fully engaged. I'm not going to give God nothing. You know what? He's so sweet. So sweet. So before we come back in, can you stand to your feet? Precious. 
Jesus, everybody. Come on and praise the Lord, everybody. Come on and magnify the name of Jesus. Come on and lift up the name of Jesus. Come on and lift up the resurrector. Come on, lift up the life giver. Come on and lift up the I am that I am. The mighty God. The everlasting Father. The Prince of Peace. The Rose of Sharon. Come on, magnify the Lord. Come on and magnify the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Clap your hands all in people. Yeah. And shout down to God. With the voice, with the voice of triumph. Yeah. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. Bless the name of the Lord. Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, what a day, what a time. Hallelujah. To magnify the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I give God the glory tonight for this wonderful move of God. Amen. I greet the whole host of faith in the name of Jesus. I thank God tonight for there is no limit to the power of God. Oh, bless his holy name. Amen. I said there is no limit to the power of God. Hallelujah. We read today about the resurrection of, of Lazarus. Say amen. amen. But I love the 22 verse. But now, even now, oh, even now, you don't hear me, church of God. Yes. But now, yes. even now, oh, bless the name of Jesus. Whatsoever, whatsoever, whatsoever your request may be right now, even now, even now, Jesus, 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 say amen, God, hallelujah, amen. Jesus said unto her, Thy brother shall live again. Martha said unto him, I know that he shall rise again amen. in the resurrection on the last day. Oh, Jesus said unto her, I am. Come on, you're speaking to the I am. I am. You're speaking to who you want to resurrect him. Yes, He's right in the midst today. Yes. I am that I am. Yes. I am the resurrection. Yes. And I am the life. Yes. He that believeth in me, yes. though he were dead, yes. yet shall he live. Yes. And whosoever believeth, shall have hallelujah everlasting life hallelujah thank god last week sunday like now say amen my nephew was in an accident right off say amen oh god but thanks be to god even now he's in church tonight amen thank you jesus thank you lord the, the, the car was total say amen but we are talking about the unlimited god Say amen. We pray, we pray, we pray. And when we pray, God deliver. Say amen. I said, God deliver. Amen. When we pray, say amen. And thank God tonight, no bone was broken. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you. And he's alive. Stand up, nephew. Praise his holy name. Come on, lift your hands and give God glory. 
Come on and give God praise. Come on and give God glory. Come on and give God praise. Come on and give God glory. Give God praise. Hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. Angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God. What a mighty God we serve. Say amen. I want to leave space for the rest because we have so many speakers tonight. So let me take my seat. Say amen. amen. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Praise his name. Praise his name.
Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise God. As the house is filling up, I just want to say again, extend greetings to everyone that's coming in. For the Pentecostal City Mission Churches, we have brethren from Florida, Boynton Beach, Port St. Lucie, Fort Lauderdale, City Mission Worship Center, and Networking for Christ, Jamaica, Linstead, Top Albany, Ocheria, St. Anne from New York, Brooklyn, Far Rockaway, Rosedale from the United Kingdom, Birmingham, and Wandsworth. Total Worship Center from North Carolina. Yes, and many of the saints are in the house. Yes, this morning we had a family from uh, living in California, but they're from India, and also visitors from the Los Angeles area. We have many churches that we fellowship with that are here this evening. Center of Hope, Pastor Jeremy Dixon, some of his, say, his uh, brethren are here, Shiloh Apostolic Church, Southside Christian Palace, uh, United Holy Church of America, 
<laughs> Union Hill Baptist Church. Is this Pastor Cecil um, Thompson? God bless you. Uh, um, Pastor Joyce Leard. And those who have come with you. Reverend Chapman. Elder Samuels, Elder Baker. Yes, God bless you, God bless you. And any and everyone else, wherever you are from. Amen. We also am going to give the opportunity to Pastor Dar Darian Reed. Two to three minutes to greet the church. And then, just based on what Bishop preached on this morning, evidence-based testimony. We... Somebody said it, someone said it earlier. It seemed like God is not doing anything because we're not talking about it. We don't talk about it. I know that some things are so personal and private, we can't give the details. But let us at least give God some praise. Yes. Yes. Yes, 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 Jesus. Yes, Jesus. For the testimonies, for the healing, for the deliverances. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Lord. And in our congregations are people, even this very year. Um, sis, get mom ready. I'm going to give her two minutes. Sitting over there. The doctors look at her and say, people like you are dead. She said, are you alive? The doctor comes in to see her. Are you alive? When they look at her chart, that's this year. And there are many others. So that's one. I'm asking for two and three to evidence-based healing testimonies. Amen. Uh, Pastor Reed, two to three minutes. When peace like a river attended my way, when sorrows like seas below.
and the church of the Lord give the Lord a praise. Can we begin to lift up holy hands in the house of the Lord? Because in his presence there is fullness of joy. And that is right and our pleasures forevermore. Hallelujah is worthy to be praised tonight. You may be seated in the house. God bless you. Hallelujah. I greet you all in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Praise God, our soon coming King. Amen. He's God all by himself and he doesn't need our help. Praise God when we think the situation is so bad that, oh my God, I don't know what to do. He just show himself off. Praise God. Last night when we thought that, oh my God, let us call, amen, the ambulance, let's call somebody, amen. I remember, oh praise God, that the spirit of the Lord still works in the church, amen. And I see some people begin to pray, glory to God. And when we begin to pray, and the Bible says, whatever you ask in his name, glory to God, it shall be done. We see dead people walk, hallelujah, testify last night, glory to God, and God is good in the house. Amen. Greetings to all the bishops, all the officers in this church. Praise God. I just love the uniform and it looks so good. Praise God. God bless all of you. Praise the name of the Lord. And it's just good to be here. Praise God. The Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise His name. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Testimony. Testimony. Bless the name of the Lord. Praise God. Bless the name of Jesus. Bless the name of the Lord. Praise God. Bless the name of Jesus. Bless the name of the Lord. Bless the name of Jesus. Thanks be to God. You're talking about miracles. Miracle is here. You are looking at one. You are looking at a miracle. Doctor, give me hope. Who many of my doctor come in and say, Miss Williams, are you alive? The other one come on and spin the record around. He say, are you alive? You should have died. And look at the doctor and say, Doctor, this is that one where man said, but this is about God. Bless the name of the Lord. Bless the name of Jesus. Doctor gave me over. So many of them said I should have died. But I said, no. Whatever is going on in this season, I want to be here. I want to be here. That my generation, generation to come, will know that there is a healing God. And is the same God then in the city mission. Is here now. Right now. So whatever fear the enemy have, and tell no lie. Rebuke it. In the name of Jesus. I spent much week in ICU. So many weeks in ICU. Nothing. Doctor say, it is finished. It is finished. But thanks be to God. It's not finished. Because there is still healing. And there is still deliverance. We are the whole one. We are going down. I will need to leave some testimony yeah. for our children, our generation, Amen. our generation to come. Yeah. That there is healing yes, yes, yes. in this tradition. Yes. It's still healing. Yes. Still deliverance. And if you he need one, he's here. Yeah. He's here yeah. to fix it for you. God bless you in Jesus' name. Praise God. Praise his name. Praise the Lord. To healing testimony number two. And if you're all right. Praise the name of the Lord. 
lift up the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Let me acknowledge the presence of all our bishop ministers, everyone in their respective places. God bless you. God bless you. I want to be very transparent this afternoon. My wife and I have been married eight years since February. In 2019, the enemy tried and thought that was it. The doctors said to us, it would be impossible for us to have children. We have heard no, 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 no. We have heard words like totally occluded, meaning it's blocked. We have heard that even if pregnancy takes place, it will not come to full term. So when I say in 2019, the enemy tried it, and we thought that was it. But in the year 2021, Back up. The second round we went right around that critical time when we lost our first child. The enemy stepped in again, and we thought, Oh my god, that's it! But the Lord intervene and in April of 2021 miracle stepped in let me back up in 2022 we tried again Right around the critical time again, the enemy stepped in. But the Lord intervened and intercepted the enemy. In January of this year, the second miracle intervened. So don't try to tell me that God is dead. There is hope. I said there is hope. There is hope. There is hope. word surrogate that's the extremity of what the doctors thought that 
we had to probably go by means of a surrogate. But God intervened. resuscitate me three times and they finally got a faint pulse and from that I was in a coma for 28 days I had irreversible brain damage they told my mom to, and my family to pull the plug because if I survived I would be a vegetable for the rest of my life but I woke up and I thank God for his miracle working power I thank God I couldn't walk I couldn't talk. I had I lost all my faculties. I couldn't even hold a pen. But God restored everything. And now I, He blessed me even to get married, move to another country. But God restored everything. And only God could do the impossible. All you have to do is trust God. All you have to do is depend on him and lean on to his own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct our path. Just pray for me, O oh God. And I ask you to just continue to pray for me in Jesus' name. In the name of the Lord, I just want to take this opportunity to greet the household of faith in the strong name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. One songwriter says, I pledge allegiance to the Lamb with all my strength, with all I am. I will seek to honor his command. I pledge allegiance to the Lamb. I stand here to tell you this evening that I am a miracle. In 2011, I was diagnosed with cancer. And when I... Of the diagnosis, I went back to the doctor for a consultation. And before I entered his office, the Lord laid a verse of scripture on my heart. It's from Psalm 89. And the verse 1 says, I want to read it to you verbatim. And it says, I will sing of the mercies of the Lord forever. With my mouth, I will make known thy faithfulness to all generation. And I pondered on that verse. And I realized that the Lord was saying to me that he's going to take me through that valley. 
Yea, though I walk through that valley, I will fear no evil because he is with me. I stand here tonight to tell you that I'm a living evidence of what God is able to do. He has healed my body from cancer not only once, but twice. Not only once, but twice. I returned to the doctor a couple weeks ago, and I was told that there was no evidence, no sign, no detectable evidence of the cancer in my body. In the first quarter of this year, one Sunday I was at church, and I was going through some torturous pain in my in my system. And it was the last Sunday of the month. It was a healing meeting. And God ro raised up, I think it was Deaconess Dice was the speaker. And the message came. And the prayer came. And the laying hands of hand came. Amen. The anointing oil came. And I was feeling so bad in my midsection, I said to her, Pour it in. And they poured it in. And saints of God, in the same time, my wife, in about the, the season, my wife said to me, and I didn't tell her what was going on, she said, I dreamt a peculiar dream about you. I dreamt that you were bleeding and you had to be diapered. <laughs> And I knew what I knew in my spirit because I knew God was doing a job in my spirit. He was healing me. And even though I did not divulge this to anybody, I know that the work was being done. And tonight, saints of God, we talk about the word came today that there should be evidence of the healing power of our Lord. Yes. Bless the name of the Lord. And I say to you, this is a living evidence. And once you have gotten the evidence, the verdict, you, make the, you determine. You determine what the verdict should be because you have seen the evidence. God bless you. evidence of the theme. There is no limit to the power of God. Bless the name of the Lord. As some of you may know and may not know, on May 12th, my car caught on fire on the freeway, spontaneously, completely burned up in flames. My insurance, they sent me an email a couple days later and they declared my car a total loss. And I looked at the email and I just thought to myself, but God, I'm in total full condition. I, there's nobody mourning me today. I'm still fully able to use my limbs and my arms and stand here to give praise and honor and glory and worship and majesty. Hallelujah. Hallelujah! I am evidence. I am evidence. Praise the name of the Lord. I just want to sing this little refrain before I take my seat. Be still and that I am God. Be
Hallelujah. Oh my Lord. Hallelujah. When trouble in your life, sing praises. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, sing Lord. praises unto God. Sing praises. Come on, choir. Sing praises unto God. Sing praises. Sing praises unto God. Sing praises. Hallelujah. Sing praises unto God. Sing praises. Sing praises unto God. Sing praises. Hallelujah. For God is our King over all. When trouble in your life sing praises, Hallelujah. When trouble, when trouble in your life sing praises, when trouble in your life sing praises, Hallelujah. For God is our King. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I just want to take time out quickly just to greet the whole household of faith. Amen. I don't want to name name. I don't want to name name. The whole household of faith. Amen. Holy Ghost greetings. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Evidence. So I have something to left with you. You'll never forget this. Metal versus flesh. And through the power of God, flesh won. Yes, you yes. won't forget that line. Yes. Flesh won. Metal is harder than flesh, right? Yes. But flesh won. Yes. Through the power of God. Amen. Some years back, I won't name the years. Some years back, I was going to work. You know, always working in Boynton Beach City Mission. Thinking all the week, right through the week, I was in the book of Nehemiah. Thinking about the wall, building the wall. Because my job at the time was trying to do the work in the church. I was trying to strategize things to do to help the church. On my way to work that evening, I got a bad drive from a lady. And I hit a pool of water on the truck hydroplane. All I remember, I don't know if when you were a kid you roll in the country, you roll in a barrel or a bucket or whatever, you put yourself in something and you roll. I just found myself just rolling. Just rolling. I don't know what happened. I'm just rolling. And all I remember, I remember the rain was pouring. All I remember, I was upside down, tied up in a seatbelt, trying to get out, cannot get out. I look to my left, I'm metal surround me. I look to my right, metal surround me. I kick my foot behind, metal. I can't get out the vehicle. All I heard in the rain pouring, I heard, here you go, buddy. Someone came, opened the door, and let me out. When I got out the truck, the truck was upside down. The bonnet of the truck was over the other lane, sitting on top of another car bonnet. The person that was in the car came out and opened my door, brought me a sweater, and put a sweater around me, and brought himself a sweater. When the fire person and the ambulance and everybody came, both of us were standing one side and we were talking. When the ambulance and everybody came, they said, where's the driver for the car? Where's the driver for the truck? And someone I just said, we're here. <laughs> Nobody could not understand. And God would send a, a, a witness. 
There was a witness came at the scene and they said, in spite of whatever happened, go to the hospital. The person took my bag that I was going to work with, brought it to my house. My wife saw the bag came, she didn't saw me. She jumped out the settee that she was sitting and jumped on the back of the sofa, crying out because she thought I was dead. In 2015, again, I was going to work. That truck was total. White Takuma, total. In 2015, I'm driving my Tundra going to work. They called me, they said, oh, well, I didn't know that I should go to work. But they called me, they said, oh, I don't see you. You're never late. What happened? I said, well, I'm late now, so when I reach, I reach. I'm taking my time going to work. The road was clear. I could look far. The moon shine. Everything was clear. On my way, just going through that green light, just driving, and just not about 45 miles per hour going. I don't know where this dark, I don't know what color it was. This dark car just appeared in my face. You know, back in Jamaica, we, we talk about ghosts. It, it, it looked like a ghost. It just appeared in front of my face. I don't know where that car came from. Obviously, the car was over the other lane and just decided to just go across. When I saw it, I slammed my brakes, swing to the right. When I swing to my right, I see a concrete light pole in my face. I said, God, I can't die like this tonight. I swing away, and all I remember, at that time, I, I, there was an impact. The car was in front of me because I swung over the soft shoulder, and they came all the way over there. So the impact, I braced for impact. And that's all I remember. For a short period of time, I didn't know what happened again. I think I blacked out for a short period of time. Wake up, I saw myself locked in the truck. Can't get out. I don't know how to get out. Nobody to open the door at that time. I found myself stretched to the other side. The door opened and I flipped and I started to roll on my belly because I thought the truck was going to catch a fire. The truck was total. Everything was metal around. Just, so two incidents, metal around. So metal versus flesh, but through the power of God, flesh won. I'm a evidence. I'm alive and well no, no bone broken, no scratch, just a little whiplash, and I'm still alive to give God the glory. God is still alive. There's no limit to the power of God. God bless you. Bless you. I bless you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. bang bang on the door like a police and then I said I have to call you back later and then my other son ran downstairs and said it's Alpha mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Lord of mercy mm -hmm. three years I haven't seen my son yes yes Jesus
stop working. You never stop. You never stop working. Even when I don't see it, you're working. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop. You never stop working. You never stop. You never stop working. Even when I don't see it, you're working. testimony there is 10 more every one of us have a living testimony of who God is to us it's to us I, I thought about it I said well is there any signs and wonders among the 20 year olds and she got up yeah age men women everybody Amen. Everybody. Yes. Healing in the body. Healing for the mind. Healing for the spirit. Men. Preservation. Protection. Reverend Leard. It's your turn. Our families. Restoring. That is who he is. And when, even when we don't see it, he's working. When we don't feel it, he's working. Because he never stops never stops never stops working god bless you reverend leard greet the congregation god bless you
our future. And we are here this evening. And we are going to lift up our hands. And we are going to say, praise God from home. All blessings flow. Are, are you tired again? Praise him, all preachers here below. Come on, sir. Praise him above. You heavenly host. Praise Father. Praise Son. And Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Just one thing I have to say. You may be seated. Just give me one minute. We are in a rented space, so we have a one-year lease. But when we went in there in April, we were asking that we could have our youth convention Friday, Saturday, Sunday. We were told Friday was not possible because of religious reasons, thus and thus, I'm leaving it there. But thank God, last month, the doors were open. All right. We'll be able to have our convention the Friday night, the Saturday, and the Sunday. Thanks be to God. God bless you. We're coming down with the greetings and the testimonies. We have Dr. Hope Harris, who is here. We want to give you about two minutes to greet the congregation. Is Elder Baker here? Um, after her, two minutes, sir. Praise him. Praise him. Glory, hallelujah. I shall not be moved. Anchored in Jehovah. I shall not be moved just like a tree that is planted by the wall. was calling everyone I, I was wondering <laughs> which testimony should I give amen, amen. which one because they have been so many and I was wondering which one but I'll go to the one when God healed me from a stroke amen, amen. I remember when my face was twisted my baby was only maybe four or five months old at the time I'm not sure everything that was going on but I remember my tongue was hanging out of my mouth. 
my face was twisted. My husband heard me like this in the car while they drove me to the, to the doctors. When I got to the hospital and they called the doctor and he came and looked out. I, un I knew what was going on. He looked at me and he went back quickly. He just turned around quickly and he came back. Three of the doctors came back with him. Right there and then I knew something was wrong. Amen. But look at me now. All right. To make it all short. Look at me now. Look at me now. My face is straightened. That's why I can say glory hallelujah. Glory hallelujah. I shall not be moved. Go on hell and sell me. I shall not be moved. For Jesus will not fail me. I have a but God testimony. I said I have a but God testimony. It could have been but God. It should have been but God. It would have been but God. I have a but God testimony. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. Let's give God praise. Amen. Song of my mind. There is power, power, wonder working power in the blood of the land. There is power, power, wonder working power in the precious blood of the land. Oh, yes. Oh, there is power, power. Wonder working power in the blood of the land. There is power, power, wonder working power in the precious blood of the land. Give God praise. Amen. If you believe that. Wonder working power in the precious blood of the Lamb. We have two minutes. Amen. We pray in the name of the Lord. Amen. We bring you greetings again from Pentecostal Temple, Church of God in Christ. Amen. Where I serve humbly as pastor. Amen. And to all the officials of the church, bishops and pastors, your respective places, and to you, the household of faith. Amen. To uh, uh, Minister Douglas. There he is right there. Give him a hand, Brother Mr. Douglas. Amen. Has often been to our church. Amen. It has encouraged us. Amen. Through the word and through his presence. And the brother right there, amen, he preached at that church about, I think, about two months ago. Amen. Stand so they can see who you are. Amen. He came and tore the house up as well. Amen. That was an encouraging word through the book of Daniel. Amen. He blessed our souls. Amen. And Elder Samuels, Elder Samuels, amen, one of yours is with us. Elder Samuels, pray. Stand, Elder Samuels. Brother Ballard and Brother Jordan, would you just stand? Amen. Let them see those that came with us. Amen. We just thank God, amen, for all the miracles that we have been hearing and testimonies about the power and the goodness of God. Amen. I tell you, amen, God can do many things. Amen. That's why there's no limit to what he can do. Amen. But there are three things I know he can't do. Amen. Three things God can't do. Yeah, he can't die. And he can't lie. He can't fail. That's why there's no limit to what he can do. He can't lie. He can't die and he can't fail. Amen. So to God be the glory. Amen. I have a testimony, amen, but two minutes, so I like to be obedient. Amen. amen. I was trained that way. Amen. To be obedient. Amen. So God bless you. Be encouraged. Hold on to God's unintended hand because the best is yet to come through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. God bless you. Bless you. Praise his name. Praise God. Praise God. Thank you, saints. Thanks for, thanks for your cooperation. We have time constraints, yes, and I just want to really thank God that we hear, we see the evidence, because we're leaving out of here to go to our respective places. We won't have convention next week, so we come and we're encouraged, we're strengthened, yes, that what the Lord has done for the other, he will do for you, he'll do for you. We're preparing to hear the announcements Amen. and then uh, the choir and we'll bring our speaker on.
I just want to um, read these words because I, I'm not quite sure if we know it. But last week, this song was raised in our, in our service. Blinded eyes will one day see. Every loss made victory. There is healing in one name. One name. He has silenced every foe. Every high thing brought down low. There is freedom in one name. One name. And soon everyone will know. There still lives a blessed hope. Our salvation is in one name. One name. He will come, he will one day come again to the praises of all men. Hallelujah. To one name. One name. So if I don't add the name, you can make your own conclusion. But the one name we speak of is Jesus. 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 The name of Jesus. I bring that around because do you know that there are churches that say there are churches and there is no God in their church? There is no Jesus. There's no Holy Spirit. Right here in this, in this, in this Los Angeles. You do, you search. They have a name. I mean, you look at the mission and the vision and you're like, what are they about? It's a lot of words. But the name of Jesus is that one name where the healing, the freedom, the salvation, and he will come again. Saints, God bless you. God richly bless you. As you listen to the night's announcements, followed by the choir and the offering in whatever way that comes. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. The Lord has sent a direct command saying, as soon as you enter through these doors and listen to what he, Jehovah, has to say, you must repent and be baptized for the Lord of the harvest will soon return. This is not a mere announcement, but it is a direct command coming straight from the throne of glory to one and all men, women, and children for us to repent and be baptized for he that will come will surely come and will not tarry. The grass withereth, the flowers they fade, but the words of the Lord endureth forever. Amen. Amen. Tonight we welcome everyone that is joining us on our social media platforms and those that are joining us in the sanctuary. In order to acknowledge everyone, I just ask that you please stand when you're region is called because we do want to acknowledge everyone that has taken the time out, whether you be local or you uh, flew in, we want to acknowledge all of our visitors tonight. God bless you. From the state of Florida, we want to acknowledge Bishop David Johnson. Praise the name of the Lord. And would you please stand, Deaconess Jacqueline Johnson, Reverend Derek Williamson, Reverend Joan Williamson, Brother David Johnson Jr., and Brother Andrew Johnson. Please stand. Praise the Lord. From Fort Lauderdale, Reverend Yvonne Mailer, Reverend Stuart Mailer, Brother Leon Mailer, Sister Ayana Mailer, and Sister Sybil Clark. From Port St. Lucie, Reverend Clive Walker and Dr. Nadine Walker. Networking for Christ, Sister Gillette Francis Peterkin. Emmanuel Apostolic Church, Sister Charmaine Alexander. City Mission Worship Center, Pastor Jermaine Mills, Minister Charmaine Smelly Hall. From the City Mission Church in Kissimmee, Brother Richard Allen. And we go over to Jamaica. From Linstead, we have Bishop Dervin Taylor. Right. Ultra Rio, St. Anne, Sister Samel Nelson Jonas, Miss Gaviana Jonas. From Top Albany, Lebanon, Volunteer Janice Jameson. 
from the state of New York, from Rosedale, thank God for your sacrifice, you know. Reverend Stephen Strawn, yeah. Reverend Floretta Barrett, Reverend oh. Gifton Grandison, Reverend Velverita Cameron, Light Brigade Jasmine Smith, Worker Simone Forrester, Worker Yanika Stanton, Worker Camille Stewart, Sister Janet Barrett, Sister Jennifer Henry, Brother Damar Aspinall, Sister Kareem Aspinall, Jacob Aspinall, and Jemiah Aspinall. Please stand, Rosedale. From the Brooklyn City Mission Church, Brother Clifton Williams. Far Rockaway City Mission, Reverend Omar Hilton, Deaconess Marcia Wilson, and Brother Ryan Wilson. And I'd just like to give a special acknowledgement to Brother Ryan Wilson for stepping in and supporting our media team this weekend. From the United Kingdom, from the Pentecostal City Mission Church in Birmingham, worker Marcia Hare. Wandsworth, Reverend Andrew Dwyer. Right. And we go over to Total Worship Center Church and Divine Alignment Kingdom Association from North Carolina, Apostle Dr. Robert L. Black. Right. From Pennsylvania, Pastor Sharon Chase and co-pastor Shalisha Collington. And I'm not sure of everyone that's here tonight, but I will call all of the names and please stand. Executive Pastor Philip Henry and Prophetess Rose Black Henry. Right. Pastor Jason Moore and Lady Quanisha Moore. Yeah. Pastor Tamara Alexander. Yeah. Pastor Sharon Chase. Pastor Co-Pastor Shalisa Collington, yeah. Pastor Wilbert Bullins and Dr. Shanika Bullins, yeah. Pastor Jane Robinson Searchwell, yeah. Elder Paris Broughton and family, Evangelist Jamie Roberts, Evangelist Gwendolyn Black Amy, Evangelist Elaine Black, Chaplain y Yvette Black Liggins. Yeah. Chaplain Sharonell Clark Dunson. Yeah. Brother Michael Cook and Sister Savon Cook. Yeah. And we heard the testimony of Sister Letitia Black Vernon. Yeah. We'd also, we heard and we thank God for um, him visiting with us, Pastor Darian Reed from New Jersey. And if we have visitors from these churches, I will call these churches. We have a Center of Hope, pastored by Jer Pastor Jeremy Dixon, Shiloh Apostolic Church. They were here. <laughs> Southside Christian Palace, United Holy Church of America, the Union Hill Baptist Church, right. Pastor Cecil Thompson, <laughs> Pastor Daniel Robinson, Pastor Joyce Leard. We heard from Dr. Hope Harris. Reverend Veronica Chapman, God bless you. Reverend Walter Farmer, Elder Samuels, and Elder Baker. Amen. We thank God for everyone. Amen. I'd also just like to acknowledge Light Brigade Banton. Yes. Praise the Lord. And also Deaconess Eda Patterson, who was here this morning, and she's here again this evening. Praise the name of the Lord. So we just invite you at this time to continue to worship the Lord. Also from Jamaica, Mrs. Katie Wright. <laughs> Praise the name of the Lord. This time we invite everyone to worship the Lord. This is a time where we can all participate in giving. So we are going to ask that you Please use Venmo or Givelify, or the, the deacons will be standing with the offering plates. Please do select Pentecostal City Mission Los Angeles on each of those apps. Philippians 4.19 says, But my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. God bless you.
Bless the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. You may have come here. I know you came from near and from far. You may have come with problems. Someone earlier in the convention said that they left unfinished business at home. Whatever problems you've come with tonight, whatever situations you may be facing when you return home, whatever you may be experiencing right now in your bodies, in your finances, whatever it may be, there is no limit to the power of God, and we just tell you to just put it all in his hands. All right. You can put it all in his hands, all right. whatever it is. All right. Whether it's finances, whether it's your physical well-being, your mental well-being, you can put it all in his hands. All right. Because there is no limit to the power of God. If it's healing that you need, you can put it in his hands. Yes. If it's deliverance that you need, you can put it in his hands. Yes. If you need to be saved, you can put it in his hands. Yes. Whatever the 
your problem, you can put it all in his hands. Put it all in his hands. Not some of it, but put all of it in his hands. And he will heal you. He will deliver you. He will save you. Don't leave here the same way that you came. But whatever you came in with tonight, put it all in his hands. Don't walk through those doors. Don't get back on that plane unless you put it all in his hands. Put it all in his hands. Don't leave here tonight. If you have something against your brother or your sister, put it in his hands and let him handle it because there is no limit to the power of God. You can't do it, I can't do it, but only God can do it. So we're gonna put it all in his hands.
hands. I put it all in his 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 hands. 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 God. Amen. Praise God. I must commend the choir. Yes, yes. Yes, right. Dr. Searchwell. Yes, right. yes. Go ahead, Vicky, go ahead. You took it to another level. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. There is no limit to the power of God. Jeremiah, before I form thee, in the belly, I knew thee, and before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctify thee and ordain thee to be a prophet, a preacher to the nations. Tonight, my prayer is that the Lord will put forth his hand and touch your mouth because he's put his word in your mouth I speak of no other than our own anointed consecrated set apart minister of the gospel married with a growing family pastor of the church Pentecostal City Mission Rosedale New York man who loves the Lord and loves his people is able to make an impact and a change wherever he goes please receive in the care of the Holy Ghost Reverend Dr. Stephen Strawn congregation congregation Reverend Strawn Father we bless you and we give you glory. How excellent is thy name in all the earth. We ask that you do what you do best. And that is to bless your people. 
you know us by name and number. You know every strand of hair on our heads. You know us even better than ourselves. Thank you for giving us this time, this moment, and this season. Let your words go forth with power, with precision, with clarity, but more than so, the anointing that will make the difference. Grab your neighbor's hand. Squeeze that hand. We deposit courage in this room. In the name of Jesus. Bless the hands that I hold. Grant them a peculiar miracle. And I promise to give you glory. Thank you for this miracle I hold. Uh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I pray that you will bless them indeed. In Jesus' name, I uh, say thank you. Drop those hands and praise him all over this room. Praise him, praise him, praise him. Praise him. Thank you. Jesus for your power it has resurrected me over painful circumstances that my soul could not flee. Thank you, Jesus, for your power. It has resurrected me. circumstances that my soul could not find. I'm a vessel full of power. Jesus. Oh, hello, Masalia. Is there a vessel here tonight full of power? Come on, lift that hand and say, Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. For your power. For your power. It has resurrected. It has resurrected me over painful, painful circumstances that my poor soul could not flee. You may be seated. It has resurrected me <laughs> from over painful circumstances that my soul could not flee. Thank you, Jesus, for your power. 
it has resurrected me from over painful circumstances that my soul could not flee. The psalmist says, I fainted lest I believe to see the goodness of God in the land of the living. Somebody ought to say thank you, Jesus. There has been some circumstances that seemed insurmountable. Circumstances that we probably would have been dead had it not been God. Thank you, Jesus, for your power. It has resurrected. It has resurrected me from over painful circumstance that my soul could not be. I honor tonight this holy convocation. I greet all of God's servants in your assigned offices and places to our bishops. The Lord bless you and our clergy, pastors, deacons, and visiting ministers all over the congregation and saints of God. Greetings. Just look at your neighbor and smile and say, I'm glad you're here. <laughs> God bless you, Reverend Barrington Richards, the pastor here, and, and to his wife and to everyone, everybody. Love you all. I want to say thank God for Rosedale tonight, too, as... Um, I was very happy to see the response of the people of God who desire to be here tonight. And God bless you. And I believe that God is doing something in, in New York. And we are glad to be a part of what God is doing here. This revival is widespread. Um, we came... We came to be a blessing because we're coming from a blessing. And, uh, and uh, we believe that um, God is speaking in the church. Um, and he is stirring up this organism, the Pentecostal City Mission Churches. Um, some people thought that we would not survive. Not, not necessarily, I'm not talking about haters, I'm just talking about people just could not fathom the um, sustainability of the ministry. But look at what the Lord has done. A choir... I'm not going to tell you who, I'm not going to make a comparison, but I almost thought I was listening to the Del Moretz. And, um,
Somebody ought to say the church is still alive. And the church is well. God bless you, choir, Dr. Searchwell, and, um, and the ministry. God bless you. Um, in case you don't know, the other night I ran over and took a picture of Brother Ma Reverend Stuart Barrington Mailer. Um, because um, I haven't heard him play in such a long time. For those of you that don't know, um, this brother here allowed me to drive his car with no license. <laughs> and he said, and he said he loved me. <laughs> but um, Brother Mela is one of those individuals who knew me Amen. for a very long time yes. and um, his father and his mother and his family has been a blessing to my life and um, I was grateful this is the first place this brother has ever traveled outside <laughs> of Florida <laughs> so I don't know what you did <laughs> But um, it's good to see him. Brother Malin knows where the, the bones are, where the skeletons are. So trouble him tonight. All right. I thank God for Minister Reed. Um, thank you for being here. He took the, the risk of coming because, um, and I say risk because he doesn't really know city mission and We've just recently met, and I said, well, I'm going to convention. Why don't you come along? Amen. Um, and he is, so we have, we have given birth to a church in New Jersey. And, um, and I'm asking God to align us with the right people so that um, in the process of launching and planting, um, the Lord is giving us people that can help establish that work. And, um, um, and I think this weekend has been impactful because um, we know what the Lord is going to do. Um, greater works, greater works. All right, and um, God bless you, Apostle Black. I'm done now. Turn your Bibles with me to Luke 9, 1. Luke 9, 1, and Mark 9, 23. Luke 9, 1 reads, um, I'm just going to go to, I thought it was going to be up on the screen, but let me just get there. And it reads, then he called his 12 disciples together and gave them power and authority over all demons or devils and to cure diseases. And uh, turn to Mark, the Gospel of Mark, 9, Verse 23. 
And they brought him on, I start at 20, and they brought him unto him, and when he saw him straightway, the spirit tear him, and he fell on the ground and wallowed foaming. And he asked his father, this is Jesus, how long is it ago since this came upon him? Interesting that Jesus is asking a question. He knows the answer to. And, um, and oftentimes it hath cast him into the fire. Now, this spirit sometimes throws the sun into the fire. But it couldn't kill him. Threw him into the water couldn't drown him to destroy him say neighbor the devil has an intention but if thou canst do anything have compassion on us and help us and Jesus said to him, if thou canst believe, all things are possible to him that believe it. Just put a plug there and I'll come back to that. I was moved very deeply recently by a very short phrase that I've just read. Jesus gave them power. He called the 12 disciples together and gave them power. If you stop and think about it, this is an amazing thing. Jesus had power. He gave it to them. And now they had it. And they were able to do something they couldn't do before because Jesus gave them power. He gave it to all of them, not some. All of them had power. Without this power, they could not carry out what the assignments were that Jesus had asked them to do. It takes power to cure diseases and heal the sick and to preach the gospel and we cannot forget the basic truth that Christ is power and he's able and willing to impart it unto us if we desire when Jesus had something for us to do he gives us power and to do it in a real way and it changes our physical, our intellectual capacity because we're now working with God's power. And although God uses our intellect and uses our bodies, when God imparts his power into us, it becomes supernatural. We're able to do what he has commanded us to do. You cannot fulfill God's will in an effective way without the power of God working inside of you. Um, church is powerful because we are the church. Um, I listened to the testimonies tonight and I am baffled by how God is still moving but I shouldn't be baffled but I get to that place sometimes where I forget that we are powerful people because God has given us power God is power and he has given us power to kill demons
and to cure all diseases. Almost finished. <laughs> Reverend Richards, this power is supernatural. We heard Bishop Taylor Friday night preach under the power of Almighty God. We heard last night and we heard today um, what Power is all about that it's manifested through the works of God who is still healing today and it's evident that God is still God I want to remind those of you that like history during the 18th century a great move of God took place called the great awakening God gave power to various men to preach and thousands were drawn to Christ John Wesley and George Whitfield were two of the more well-known men used in this movement, but they were, there were many, many others. William Grish, Grimshaw was also a part of the great move, and John Wesley at one point declared, and I quote, a few such men, a few such men as him would make a nation tremble because he carries fire wherever he goes, end quote. Please note, Wesley meant he carries with him the power of Almighty God. And when Paul and Silas came to Thessalonica, the people said, these are the men who have been turning the world upside down and they have come here also. That takes power. Often I feel that my need for power is, 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 is desperate because you can't preach without power. You can't serve God without power because we are not being sent to just sheep alone. But you have to deal with the wolves and the barracudas and, and the serpents and... You, you, you have to have something supernatural to deal with where God is sending you. God is not sending us to every congregation that we want. and He's not allowing everyone to come in our life that we like. Sometimes God allows us to walk through some valleys and deal with some circumstances that are bigger than us that, that seem as if they were specifically designed to kill us but God somehow anoints us in that season and in that time and when we come out of it the only person we can give glory to is God because we know it took power to overcome the attack we might have some scars but we're still here because of the power of Almighty God. So, it is. Um, and in some measure, and in some measure, I recognize I have known God's power. But I want to know it more. And the more I have known it, the more I want to do more for God. In the Lord's work, in the Lord's way, Francis Schaeffer quoted an old hymn that said, O crucified and risen Lord, give tongues of fire to preach thy word. Schaeffer said, we need that because the world is a hard place. I don't know if you're seeing what I'm seeing or hearing what I'm hearing, but there is an attack on the gospel. And there is an intentional assault on the church of God that even in the classroom, that there are people telling children, maybe not yours, but some kids are being told that God makes mistakes. And God is, he messed up. You aren't really a boy, but you're, you, you, you. And, and, and the church, and the church is becoming very quiet. And they recognize that there is an assault, but they're quiet because they're scared. 
But Paul and Silas was determined to turn the world upside down because the attack on the church is not new. They did it in Thessalonica. They did it in Ephesus. They did it here, there, and everywhere. They were persecuted. They, they were attacked. They were martyred. But somehow we are still here. And that's because of the power of Almighty God. Spiritual blindness is creeping into the church where we don't see what the enemy is doing, what we, we have become so lax, so, so comfortable. As I was coming here tonight, this evening, I was just reflecting and I heard the Lord tell me, I did not send this church here to become like America. We were sent here to impact America. So you have to not relinquish the power that God sent us here with. I'm not telling you that you, want, you need to speak Jamaican and dress us. Sir. I am telling you even if you don't eat curry goat, you still must feel the power of God when you walk through these doors. For as soon as you walk through these doors and you listen to what he, Jehovah has to say. You must repent and be baptized for the Lord of the harvest will soon appear. We want to assimilate too often. We want to be like others too often. But we have been called out. We are the ecclesia, the anointed, the separated, the different ones. And it's all right to be different because we are functioning under a power that's unlimited. Oh, so, so I am here just to let you know that this is not a new battle. But it's going to take fire and the power of God to win. On one hand, I'm fully convinced from scripture that the same power that raised Christ from the dead does dwell in me and in you. And in all who belong to Christ. Paul prayed. You heard it on Friday night in Ephesians 1. And I leaned over to Sister Jameson, Jameson and I said, The bishop is just with my message. I don't know. Mm. <laughs> and Paul prayed in Ephesians 1 that the eyes of our hearts would be open so that we may know the immeasurable greatness of the power towards us who believe. That prayer implies that there is power there. But that prayer also implies that we need to know that the power exists. And what, what shakes me up, Barry, is that Jesus in Luke just gave himself to 12 individuals. They were not necessarily qualified. They were not necessarily ready. One of them was going to betray him. <laughs> But Jesus was not biased. He said, since you're following me, let me give you some power now. That teaches me that I don't need to be qualified by your eyes. God just seems to give grace or power to whom he chooses to. And sometimes we take people through these rudimentaries and all of these circles and try to get them to be like a certain person and and act like a certain, dress like a certain, but we can't control who God give his power to. Uh, you can be sitting next to a great preacher and, 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 and they don't have no power unless God gives it to them. And don't underestimate somebody because they can't do what you do, how you do it. Because power don't belong to me. Twice have I said it. Power belongs to God. And if we recognize that, that means you will look at people and you respect them because you can be sitting next to somebody right now that has some power. Look at your neighbor and say, you don't know who you're sitting next to. Take your time. You don't know who you're sitting next to. You don't know what the Lord brought me out of. 
You don't know how far I have come. You don't know the depths where I've come from. I might have had a child out of wedlock. I might have lost some things, lost some people, but I'm still here, not because of what I have done, but because of All on your row is power. Everybody sitting next to you is power. If you're taking inventory, all of this is power. This has nothing to do with me. It has nothing to do with what I want. I'm here because of God's power. Don't you dare discredit who I am. I am standing because of power. Even Judas, who was going to betray Christ, was walking around with some power. You couldn't buy it. You couldn't get it off of Amazon Prime. You could not sell it. You could not borrow it. Power does not come from church. Power does not come from oil. Power comes from God. And God gave, you better talk to me for a minute. God gave you power. It, God gives them power to 12 disciples and says, you have power over devils. So Paul says, Paul, Paul, sorry, Ephesians 1 says, I give God thanks. Watch this. Ephesians 1, 19. Paul in 20 is so overwhelmed, so much that the Bible says he never stops, Bishop, giving thanks. This is a moment to preach here. He never stops giving thanks because he's overwhelmed. Paul teaches us that when in this text that he can't stop thanking God. Because every time he thinks about the goodness of God, it overwhelms him. And he just has to give thanks. Every time he thinks about when he thought he got it and he fully understood it, he said, I realize how immeasurable, how great. This power is. <laughs> but with his praise, he also asked God. He said, please God. You see these Ephesians? They have what I have. The problem is, they don't see it. They don't recognize it. This theme has a lot to do with God. But it has more to do with us. Because we don't need to tell God how much power he has. We don't need to convince God that he's unlimited. What we need to recognize is where the power lies. He has already given it to us. And if we got God power... If we have God's power, can I try that? If Paul says, if you, oh, Lord, open their eyes that they may have knowledge to understand what is currently inside of them, what they possess. And our churches are dying because of spiritual ignorance. Because you will, you, will, you will leave this convention. And next week you will still be baffled. And, and buffeted. And these preachers have preached hard. And, 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 and it's, it, the preachers are fatigued. Because all the congregation wants to do is have a good time. But um, I don't want nobody to have no good time with me. 
because tomorrow when devil comes and nobody is around I want you to remember Strawn said God has already given you what you need and whether it is voodoo who do shoo do sorcery or misery trials or problems persecution or hardship up or down attack from the east west north or south you can stay your ground because you have something in you that man did not give you but God looked down before the foundation of the world and said I will give you power over all demons over all sickness Paul says the problem here is that they don't recognize what they have in Ephesus God, I pray that you will open their eyes. That they will see how immeasurable the power is. That they will know the great hope that they have been called. And what is the riches of their inheritance. Some years ago, Reverend Richards preached about the New Testament. And he talked about how the will um, is, 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 is written and preserved for the next generation or the father's children. You know how tragic it is uh, when people have an inheritance and they don't know they have an inheritance. If somebody had left me something and I know that house is going to be mine. I would take care of it more. <laughs> but when you don't realize that you have something, you treat it any kind of way. That's why people do what they want in church and how they want, because they don't recognize what they have. And, 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 I, and, I, and I'm like Paul, I says, Lord, just teach them. Open their eyes so the next time they come to worship, they recognize who you are. But greater than that, they recognize what you have given them. So that they will be victorious. Paul speaks of knowing this power. This is more than an intellectual something. Although it is also that, it is also a knowledge of experience. That simply means that it has to be known in the heart, not just in your mind. You have to have experienced God's power to appreciate God's power. Now, now, that, now, now, now that means you can hear testimonies all day. But not until you get your own experience are you going to appreciate how good God is. God, Paul was saying, Lord, I don't want to be the only one who have, that knows how great you are. I don't want to be the only one who understands how good you are. I want when I stand up in church and say, when I think of the goodness of Jesus, somebody all the way in the back can say, and what he has done for me. My soul cries out. Hallelujah. Thank God for saving me. You see, tonight, church would have had to lock down. You don't need no message. Because if this one test, you don't see, all she had to do was say any evidence. And people start coming. Some of you still, still can't hold the mic yet. But if you know, you know like I know. That you have a test. Just praise God. Let me see who you are. Mm. Okay, see, see. <laughs> Paul 
Paul says, I want them to understand that when they come together, it is a time for revelation. It is a time for spiritual edification. It is a time for increase. It is a time for miracles. It's a time for revival. It's a season of breakthrough. You can't keep this quiet. Let the redeem of the Lord say so. Whom the Lord has redeemed from the hand of the enemy. Let those that have been delivered shout, I've been delivered. Let those that have been healed declare, I've been healed. Let those that have been attacked say, I overcome. I dare you to say, I'm still here. And it's not by might, it's not by power, but it's by my spirit, said the Lord God. I feel a preach in my belly. I dare you to look at your neighbor, say neighbor. This is not by might. This is not by power of my own making. But God gave me power. When I was walking in the valley, God gave me power. When I was deep in despair, God gave me power. When I was broken and bruised, battered and embarrassed, say I'm still here because God gave it to me if you gave it to me you will take it back if you gave it to me you will find a way to undercut it if you gave it to me you will give me a little bit but God but God but God but God Shh. don't tickle me yet The problem is, they didn't know how great it is. No one knew how immeasurable it was, how infinite it was. Paul says, does it, it does, they don't get it. They can't comprehend it. But God, I want them to experience it. And Paul says, if they get this experience, their commitment to you will be different. Their praise will be different. Ignorance is going to destroy us. Consider the inward working of God in the lives of his people. Here is another woman in John. Says so Jesus answered her and said, If you knew the gift of God and who it is that is saying to you, Give me a drink, you would have asked him for a drink and he would have given you living water. Jesus said, if you only knew the gift that God has for you, if you only knew who was speaking to you, you will ask me and I will give you the water. This woman was going through her own normal routine in life. She did not know God as had a gift for her. She did not know that Jesus the Messiah was right in front of her. She didn't know that powerful life-giving thirst-quenching gift from God was available to her. All she saw was a man talking to her. And Jesus said, if you knew. And sometimes we just need to lock down church. And say today, Sunday, is for you to know. <laughs> because if you knew, if you only knew what was available, you would not stop trying to question my theology and say, give me. I think the reason so many Christians don't really think going to Jesus is the answer to their needs. So they, they, they work around it. This woman at the well did not ask Jesus for living water. We don't know the gift that God has for us. 
we have little comprehension of what is available to Christ or what is available to us in Jesus. We have little understanding who is right there besides us speaking to us. So we do not really expect anything from him. So we don't ask him for power because we don't expect to receive power. We don't think we qualify for power. So you never say, Lord, grant me power. So you don't, it's not that you, you can't get it. Because you can have it if you ask for it. Touch your neighbor say, wake up, wake up now. Don't sleep now. Because you might miss something. You might miss something. You might miss something. And you're going to go back home and hear the noises. And then you're going to open up the Bible to Psalm 91. And put it over your bed and think it's going to drive away a spirit. But the devil is a liar. Say, wake up, you can't miss this now. You're not sleeping on the floor tonight under your bed. Hiding from any ghosts. Tonight you walk into your house and say every demon, every devil, every spirit, every sabakutudibias. For behold you leave here with power because you have come to the... Lift up your hand and say Lord give me power. Don't say it if you don't mean it. Don't say it if you don't have a circumstance that requires something supernatural. But if you have a need in this room, I say lift up your head and say, Lord, give me power. Power for work tomorrow. Power for that devil on the job. Power for that devil in the house. Power for that devil in the church. I dare you to say, Lord, give me power. I refuse to leave this convention the same way I came I refuse to come out of this trial the same way I went in it Paul says they don't get it God I glory in my weakness for it's in my weakness hold on there it's in my weakness. It's in my suffering. It's in my trial. I learned something new about God. Oh, that I might know him. And the power of his resurrection and the suffering and have some union some fellowship of his suffering Paul knew the mystery it was not when I was on the mountain that I have powerful experiences it's when I'm in the valley that I get to know God better it's when I, my back is against the wall I see a new move of God I feel a preach now Somebody says I'm walking through a season of hardship and difficulty. I got good news for you. Yeah. Though you walk through the valley of the shadow of death, fear no evil. For power is with you. Power is your rod. Power is your staff. Power has your back. Power has your front. He has prepared a table before me in the presence of my enemy. Slap your neighbor, say neighbor. I'm getting to the table. I won't die in this valley because when I look behind me, surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. Look at the devil, say, devil, come. 
hit me with your best shot because I shall win. I shall win. So Paul says, the only way to tap into this power that's unlimited is through my suffering. I prayed thrice that the Lord will remove this thorn in my side. But God kept it there and said about who there. And he was able to recognize that my grace shall grace. Power is grace. That my grace is sufficient. So, so let me run. Let me run. Let me run. So, how do we experience all of this more fully? There is no formula, it is a mystery. We walk with God and trust God and he moves and work and uses us. We don't always know how, but he knows. So I offer you four suggestions on how to tap into this power. First, ask God to open our eyes to the mighty power of the work that's within you. I personally believe that the great spiritual problem in many of us is that we are unacquainted with the inward work of God in our soul. John said we have come to know and believe the love God has for us. We can hear God loves us, but not until you experience God loves you are you ever going to get an increase of power. Amen. Second, desire, shout desire, desire, to know the power of Christ and to live in that power. Desire is important. Desire drives what we ask for. Desire drives what we seek for. If you want power, go after power. If you want what God has for you, go after it. No one can want it for you. You have to want this for yourself. Somebody has to want more of God. You have to be tired of this. You have to be tired. We used to call them altar customers. They come to the altar every week. They go to every conference, read every book, and everybody lays hands on them, but they're never delivered because they're not desiring power. Hmm. Hmm. Jesus. Third, simply trust in the reality of Christ's power. It is not something we can see. We often do not feel it. But just know we can rely on it. We trust that it is always present. Regardless of how we feel, regardless of what we see. We trust the objective reality that Christ lives in us through his spirit. We affirm and confess boldly that we have all that we need. Because there's a spring of water springing up in us. And out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water. <laughs> Albert Benjamin Simpson, also known as A.B. Simpson, was a Canadian preacher, theologian, author, and founder of the Christian and Missionary Alliance. And he offers this thought. We give ourselves to him. He takes us. We bring him, or we bring an empty hand, and he fills it. We are the capacity. He is the supply. We are the temple. He occupies it. We are the channel. He flows through it. Let us receive him into every pore 
of our fiber in our being. Let every cord and member be a channel for his indwelling and in working. So Lord, here is my hand, fill it. Here is my capacity, you are my supply. Lord, I am your channel, flow through me. You cannot want power and just be lazy. You don't get power just to come to church and praise the Lord. Power is for a purpose. They that know their God shall do exploits for him. Talk back to me. I was chuckling and laughing with sister deaconess Dr. Nadine Simpson. I'm sorry. Walker. And I said, look at God. You have Dr. Search. I'm going to say it because sometimes people are afraid to declare these things. This is not a boast. This is what God is doing in the church. And he's putting people in strategic places with power. And I was reading the, the, the little bio that, she, that was placed in the magazine. And, 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 she, and, and one thing, she never took credit for anything. It was always God. Look at what God is doing in his church. More people today are advancing in their education. Postgraduate degrees. And are working in strategic places. And they're not selling out their God because they have a degree. But they're holding the line. Because no one understood how God was going to build the church. Peter did not have a concept of what was going to happen. But he had a revelation from God. That Jesus was the Christ. And Jesus said upon this rock. I will build my church. And the gates of hell shall not prevail. But when he told this to Peter. Sir there was no church. And then we finally stumbled into the book of Acts. And then Jesus said go into the upper room. And wait on the wait, just wait there. And then I will endure you with power from on high. And when the church was on one accord and they had all things coming, God sent a sound like a mighty rushing wind. And the Holy Ghost out, Holy Ghost. Sir. I know you don't believe in the Holy Ghost no more. You don't want to talk about the Holy Ghost no more. The scripture said you shall have a form of godliness, but deny power. But the devil is a liar. I want somebody that says, I still believe in power. Don't say it if you don't mean it because the Holy Ghost is in the room. You will have a form of godliness, but you don't ascribe to power anymore because tongues is too foolish. People don't want to move their wig no more. But I remember Sando. Nobody want to kick off their shoes anymore. Nobody want to get a little perspiration anymore. But I want somebody to say, I don't just want. I don't just want the little. I will not deny the power. I don't want to look like a Christian. I don't want to talk like a Christian. I don't want to just lack and act like a Christian. But I want the power. Is there anybody here that still believe in power? And God is moving men and women into offices that were once coveted and occupied only for those who were a part of the secular world. Now we have doctors in the pharmaceutical field. Now we have doctors in the high schools. Now we have people in good influential places where we can show the You're scared to say amen? If it ain't your child with it, don't worry about it. You want to praise God for those that got it? Who told you that God can't save an educator? Who told you God can't save a doctor? Who told you God can't? We are not finished yet. 
God has some lawyers in the house. God got some public policy makers because he has given us power over all demons. The demon of homosexuality creeping into the classroom. The dealy, the, 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 the devil of the transsexual. Slap three people and say, watch where God place you. Watch where God put you. Watch where God put you. Watch where God put you. Say, watch where God put you. Watch where God put you. You're about to turn the city up, side, down. Is there anybody here that's ready for the war? That's ready for the battle. That's ready, 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 ready. Stop discouraging people and telling them it don't take that. You're too heady. Reject that devil. Find your young people. Lay hands on them. And say you will walk through those hallways. You will sit for your exams. And you will do well. Find your grandchildren. And say you'll walk in the bathroom if you're a girl and say girl. How you want to lay hands on people in the church and you won't lay hands on those in your house. I guess it won't be no Bamsa Huri tonight. But I come to chase a demon out of here. I come to put that Bamakusha to the beyond. Hello, Boboshan. Behold, all power is given unto me. He's given power. He's given him power over principalities, over demons, over rulers of darkness. Don't you know what you're carrying? Paul said, Lord, let them understand. Come on, strong. Finish. Hmm. Jesus, have mercy. So, in my last point, in Mark 9, 23, Jesus has a statement regarding power available to him who believes is a controversial one the context of Mark chapter 9 establish a clear understanding of Jesus it's a controversial text because many people have various interpretations but Mark 9 presents a scene where a father is seeking aid from Jesus Disciples are casting a demon out of his son. Jesus approaches and asks Bishop Daly, what is going on here? The father answer is that the disciples have failed to cast out the demon. Jesus replied, you unbelieving generation, how long shall I stay with you? How long shall I put up with you? Mark 9:19. The father then asks, my dear brother Walker, the father then asks, Jesus, have pity. Don't rebuke them so hard. And just cast out the demon. Jesus then says, he says to him, well, the man says to Jesus, if you can do anything, cast out the demon. 
And Jesus looked at him and says, if you can believe, all things are possible to him who believes. The word believes is a part, a participle that literally translate as the believing one. Jesus provides the means for everything to be possible. One must believe in him. The, Ampl the Amplified Bible translates Jesus' statement in a more clear and fuller way. He says, all things are possible for the one who believes and trusts in me. Faith is an important ingredient in this story. Some have argued that the strength of one's belief is, Je is what Jesus is trying to discuss here. But there's a greater issue, I believe, at hand. Reverend Richards, it is not how strong or, bold or how boldly the father believed Jesus would heal his son. The issue was that the object of one's belief was not Christ. He said, your disciples were unable to cast out the demon. There is an issue when our focus is off of God. It cannot be on individuals. Because if you put your focus and hope in individuals, you miss the whole purpose of faith. Faith is the substance of things hoped for. And it is the evidence of things unseen. And don't come to God if you don't expect God to move on your behalf. For those who come to God believing must believe that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. So if you don't believe God can do it, you won't get it. And here is this man saying to Jesus, well, if you can do anything, go ahead and do it. If is the two-letter word. Sitting in the word of life. Life and death is an if. And if you choose the wrong if, it can be death or it can be life. So the man in essence was saying to Jesus, if you can. And Jesus looks at him and said, what do you mean? If I can. The fact that you ask me if I can. It's problematic. You should not be asking me if I can. You should just be believing that I'm able. And there are some people here who are still asking God, can you? And now Jesus says, that's not what it's about. Don't come asking me for help now and wondering if I'm able to perform the miracle. I want you to know that when you come to me, there is nothing I cannot do. Because if you come believing, all things are possible with God. So your worship must express that you believe. Your praise must declare that I believe. In this room, I must feel like you believe. And if one or two, or if any of you come together in this room and you believe that he can, God will because one can chase a thousand and two can put 10,000 to flight. So there is really no limit to what the power of God. But we limit God because we don't fully believe that God is able. But for the next five minutes, I want somebody that believes that he's able to begin to think about what it is that you need God to do in your life. I need you to think about what you need God to tear down. And what you need him to build up. You might be in a place of confusion. A place of depression. A place of discouragement. A place of hardship. But I want you to think differently. 
about God tonight. I want you to think about that thing. You need God to work in your life. And I want you to come to him not asking, can you God? But I'm in this room tonight, God, because I know you're able. Woo. Woo. Tonight, my prayer is going to be different because I know that you're able. I'm not looking to bishop. I'm not looking to no person. If nobody lays hands on me, you're still able. Because tonight I am stirring up what you gave me already. After they left the prayer meeting, they stumbled across a man who was laid at the gate beautiful asking for alms. Peter, who was already filled with the Holy Ghost. John, who was filled with the Holy Ghost. Said to the man, today, silver and gold have I none. They recognized in that moment they had something greater than money. Who am I talking to here? Oh, you'd missed it. Touch yourself now and say, I have something. No man, talk. I have something. 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 I feel a break in the room right now. Right now. Right now, look on your row, right on your pew. Say, you have something. Start prophesying to look at them, touch them, touch them. That's right, that's right. Don't be afraid of COVID. Touch them. Say, you have something. You have something. You have something. You have something. Something. Silver and gold. Have I none? I tell you today. But, but such as I have such as I have the secret here is reveal how the power of God moves the devil should have kept Jesus down in the grave but he said, if I be lifted up from this earth, I would draw. The problem was you couldn't stop the church because the more they oppressed them, the more they multiplied, the more they pressed them, the more they persecuted them, the more they cast them down. They gave birth, they gave birth, they gave birth. Lord Jesus, the more sickness in the room, God heals his people. Woo! Silver and gold. Come on, just touch somebody, say such as I have, such as I have. If you don't got nothing, don't touch me. But if you got some power, say such as I have, give I thee in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Rise up. Somebody's about to be resurrected tonight. Somebody's about to come out of it tonight. Somebody has resurrection power. Say yes, somebody. Say such as I have. I come to pull you out of your pit. Such as I have. I come to break the chain. Victory in the house. I tell you for the next 30 seconds to praise. me. 
I said praise him. I said praise him. I said praise him. Praise him. For such as you have, praise him. You have something. Start praising him. Stir up the gift. Stir up the power. Stir it up, stir it up, stir it up. You shall live and you shall not die, but you shall declare the works of God. shall declare you shall declare take the limits off take the limits off think bigger think brighter Lord come on pray with me say Lord enlarge my territory say Lord enlarge my territory Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. You're thinking too small. I said, open up your babakushan there. Lift up your babakushan there. And say, Lord, enlarge my territory. Lord, enlarge my territory. You have a bigger ministry. You have a greater anointing. Lift up your head and say, Lord, enlarge my territory. Keep, 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 come on, Sada. Your hands upon my head. I come on, Sada. Is there anybody that want more here? Is there anybody that want more here? Hold it. You're still thinking. Hold it. You're still thinking too small. Because he can do more exceedingly and abundantly. Don't be scared to ask for it. Say, Lord, enlarge my territory. I don't care if you're 80 years old, you can still get a breakthrough. I don't care if you can hardly walk, you can still get a breakthrough. Lift up that hand and say, Lord, enlarge, enlarge, enlarge. Enlarge. Yes. Yes, yes, who am I talking to? You should have written, you should have written the book already. You should have written the book already. Should have opened the business already. I need some big thinkers in the room. I say, Lord, Makusha Bani. Nana Makushi be Andy. Who did be Asatoya? The Bakutu did be Asatoya. Sutu did be Andy, they will say. Lord, we impart. A greater anointing, a Pentecostal anointing. Woo. Let the people praise him in this room. Say, Lord, enlarge my terror. Oh, 
Yes, God. Yes, God. Come on, you theologians. Find me the text quickly. That said the Bakushabri and expand your stakes. Your tent is too small. I hear you, Holy Ghost. It's in Isaiah. Lengthen your cords. I hear your Holy Ghost. I release in this house Isaiah 54, verse 2. Enlarge the place of your tent and let them stretch out the curtains of your dwellings. Do not spare. Lengthen your cords and strengthen your stakes uh, for you shall expand uh, to the right uh, and to the left uh, and your children, children shall be blessed Abakuto. who am I talking to here? start expanding start expanding Take the limits off. Take the limit off. I said, Praise God in the house. Shout hallelujah in the house. Hallelujah in the house. I'm pulling up my stakes. I'm expanding my tent. I'm expecting more. I'm expecting more. Come on in the spirit. Start pulling up your stakes. Some of you are about to move. It's about to be a shift in your life. There is no limit. 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 Get out of God's way. Let God move. Pull them up. Pull them up. Pull them up. Pull them up, pull them up, pull them up, expand your tent. This is the year of expansion. And the year is not over yet. We still have some more months. You shall see God provide property. God shall release houses. God is about to turn it around. Woo. I wish somebody would say, Lord, I receive it. Oh, Baba Hushanda. Somebody receive it. Somebody receive it. Somebody receive it. 
you shall recover all, 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 and then some, and then some. Come on, who of us see any day? Bring your wife with you. Shanta Rabakushi. Shanta Nibiasa. In this convention, you shall know God differently. You shall see Him differently. I wish Shabani. Who of us Lord, open their eyes that they might see. Lord, open their eyes that they might see. Give them the eyes of Elijah. That you will know that there are more with you than those that are against you. Don't you dare be afraid. Baptize you with courage. In the name of Jesus, you're going to go further than they thought you would go. You're going to do greater than they thought you could. Woo! I just need to, listen, if they don't break it, you break it. If they don't believe it, you believe it. Take the roof off. Lower it down. Because you believe God is able. Let the church say yes. We are Nabakusha. We re-anoint this ministry. We expand this ministry. Anoint your fingers. Let the people pray. I said praise in here. Praise in here. That's right. Bless your children. Bless your children. Bless your children. Yeah, Kalabasha. We break every limitation, every setback, every setback. Propel your God. You shall outrun them. You shall outrun the chariots. I will do a new thing in you. I will do a new thing in you. Oh, what? Shall not be denied. Said the Lord. Said the Lord. Come on, I want you to stand with me and lift your hands all over you. Come on, believe this. I will do. I will do. Receive it. It's a new thing. 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 God is about to blow your mind. Whatever. I dare you to believe that. Whatever. Whatever. Man of God. 
whatever you've asked him for whatever you you are praying for it shall not be denied it's going to be greater it shall be greater he denied it shall be greater it shall be greater it shall be greater it shall be great. Come on, lift those hands and say, I will do a new thing. Yes, Lord, I receive it. I shall make a way in the wilderness. I shall put rivers in the desert. It's about to be a new thing. 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 Dawn is about to be a new thing. I'm expecting something different. Watch it. It's about to be different. Bigger than what you're praying for. Bigger than what you're praying for. Yes, I'm about to be different. Somebody want it. If you want it, come here, come here, Johnson. Come here, Johnson. Lift your hand and say, I will. As you walk, your tuition, your tuition will be paid. God is about to open a door because of your faith. I will back to Come here, mommy. Come here, daddy. Oh. Come here. Generational blessings. Generation, lay hands on him. Tobacco Sunday. Generation of blessing. Increase. Increase. Hear the Lord, sir. He will do a new thing. Receive it. In your belly. In your belly. I will do. Before you sing this again, I don't want you to sing it if you don't believe it. You believe it, Gillette? I believe it. Come receive it. Don't sing it if you don't believe it. What? Listen, what? Whatever you prayed for, whatever you asked for, it will not be denied. Is anybody bold enough to ask him in this in this atmosphere? Can't and dice come here, man. You believe it? Asking for it. For it will not. There's a message from heaven. Somebody is living under an open heaven. you to pull down your miracle I will do a new get it get it I will do a
to somebody. Turn to somebody. Take them by the both hands. Take them by both hands. Oh, that's what I need you. That's right, both hands. Hey, open your mouth and say, God is going to do something new. Come on, declare it over their lives. I said, look at them, look at them, open your eyes and say, my brother, my sister, God is going to do something new. Yes, Abahuda. Yes, Abandon of Yosa. Yes, Hobo, who's Abandon here? A new thing. 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 Santa Lava who said that we are there. Santa Lava who said that we are there. A new thing. A new thing in the house. A new thing. 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 You've already prayed now. Drop those hands and praise him for the next 30 seconds. I want somebody that received that in the room. I want somebody that received. Say yes, yes, Lord. Say yes. Say yes. 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 Yes, Lord. Is that Gwen? Is that that bitch? Come on, man. <laughs> Say yeah. Come on, I need an intercessor. Say yeah. There's a couple ways to anoint people. You can smear the oil or you can pour the oil. I'm led tonight to pour the oil. Pass me that white towel. This is a clean one. Holy shit. It's in your obedience. It's in your obedience. I will make rivers in your desert. 
Shanda la makushe. Rabakuri andiribia. Your house shall be blessed. Your children, children shall be blessed. In the name of Jesus. This is a new release. This is a new anointing. For a greater calling. Abaya. So say yeah. 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 person and say, I love the Lord. I love the Lord. But what he has done, I love the Lord. I love the Lord. I love the Lord. I love you, Feeling of the Holy Ghost. Come on, lift that hand. Take the limit off of God. You need a fresh anointing in this room. You got a big fight tomorrow. You got one tonight. You need another anointing. Lift your hand and say, Yeah, yeah. Father said, Jesus, watch this. The father said quickly, Jesus, right in that moment, he said, Lord, I'm sorry that I doubted you. Help my unbelief. And right in that moment, the son that the devil tried to kill was delivered. Right in this moment, just a Chapman, right in this moment, if you believe that which what the devil was trying to kill shall be delivered, fire won't burn them, water won't drown him, and the dumb shall speak because you have believed that all things. Are possible for them that believe. that believe. I love you tonight. I oh, what a glorious convention! Do believe. I, do believe. I feel a release of a, I feel a prophet's tongue loose. Tonight. Somebody, oh, go somebody. Oh, somebody. You held out too long. Boy, boy. I, I hear you. I hear. Tell him, tell him. I do 
believe. I do to believe. I'm standing in agreement. I'm all standing here. like church this feels like church somebody believes in the room Lord, Lord, I cancer being healed Lord, diabetes being healed suicide spirit being delivered Lord, we break the back of depression Lord, I believe. I'm standing in agreement. God is about to do it for her. Yes. You know who her is. I have seen your tears. I have heard your cry. Yes. Lord, Lord, I believe. Lord, I believe. Yes. Something, some things. Mission of our deputy overseer and pastor here. He has told me to close this service. Everybody will receive their special thanks at another time. But tonight we're thanking God. Hey, hey, hey. Who's done it all? The center of attention right now. It's God. Is the guest of honor, God. the Lord of hosts. He is, he is with us. And the God of Jacob he is our refuge. Come behold hey, hey, hey. the works of the Lord. See the desolations he has, he has made in the earth. He making wars to cease. I'm talking about the war in your life. Yes. Say cease. cease. You're raging. Yeah. He breaketh the bow. He cut it the and he cut it the spear in sunder. He burns a chariot fire. in the fire. Be still. And know that he is God. And he will be exalted in the earth. Be blessed.
Jesus. Be strengthened. Be encouraged. God bless you. What I say unto one, I say unto all, there is no limit to the power of God. You know why? Come on, ask your neighbor. Say, you know why? Because I am God's power. This young man here, his father, used to be one of my employees at Jordan High School. His father, your father passed away recently, a couple years ago. But Gary was his father's name. When I met him, he was a tot. I think your father's in heaven rejoicing tonight. Who has the 
find 